Hey Leo, we're here for your weekly tarot love reading September 30th through to October 6th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and of course, any of you lovely cross watchers dealing with the Leo romantically. Definitely keep in mind, Leo, it is a general reading, may or may not resonate with you. You are, of course, welcome to take what works and leave the rest. If you'd like to get a personal tarot reading from me, I do currently offer those through my Etsy shop. Feel free to check it out. The link is in the description box just below the video. So I gotta say, Leo, very happy first week of October. I am extremely excited. I love the fall season. I know, we're Leos. I'm a Leo son as well. I love Leo season, but I love fall as well, okay? So cozy sweaters, pumpkins, pumpkin spice, all the Halloween stuff. What do you guys love most about fall? Let me know if you're doing anything exciting this month. Um, but yeah, I'm just uh, wishing you lots of warm, cozy sweater snuggles and happiness and love and <laughs> all that good stuff. Lots of uh, pumpkin spice lattes. That's what I'm wishing for you guys this month. Anyway, you can let me know if you love fall as much as I do, but definitely let me know what your favorite fall activity is in the comments. Okay guys, so let's see what this week is bringing towards you in love. First card coming out for Leo. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, I was already feeling the vibes and then we've got the two of cups, which is the soulmate card. So I asked what is coming towards you. Let's just take a look. I think you could just look at the imagery and you can tell this is beautiful. This is two people who love each other, who choose each other, who are excited to be together. It's a true partnership, a divine connection. So in terms of what's coming towards you this week, obviously somebody very special. If you're single Leo, keep your eyes open. And if you're in a relationship, it definitely feels like you're building a beautiful connection with somebody and you mean a lot to them, Leo, and they mean a lot to you. Tell me more about what's coming toward Leo. I love it. And then we got the chariot. This is a card of action, movement, willpower, determination. So what this tells me is that this week, you could see some significant progress happening in your love life, okay? So if you're single, I just wanna say, keep your eyes open, Leo. Keep your heart open to what could be coming towards you. This tells me that somebody could be pursuing you this week and asking you out. If you're in a relationship, what it looks like to me is that things are moving forward. Things are charging ahead in your connection. It feels beautiful, it feels amazing, and it just feels like everything is happening as it should be happening. Let's get one more card for the overall energy for this week, please, and then the Page of Pentacles, I love it. Some of you are dealing with an earth sign of Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Regardless of who you're dealing with though, Leo, they're coming in to give you some sort of gift this week. The Page of Pentacles tends to indicate somebody giving you an offer, and a lot of the times it can be something tangible, you know, like, like a gift, something that shows how much they desire you, how much they want you, some sort of token of their affection, basically just something here to show you that they got all the feelings for you is basically what it is. So I'm gonna hold this up for you. Let's just take that in for a moment, Leo, because the overall energy for this week is beautiful and I want you to just take it in because you're gonna be enjoying this, okay? So that's what we've got. So here's what we're gonna do for the rest of the reading. Let's look at this person and let's look at you. The reason I like to do this is because I find it interesting to get a feel for what's going on for your person this week, what's going on for you, and then we will look at the potential outcome. So like I said, if you're single, this could definitely be the energy of somebody new coming into your life. And if you are already with this person, we can take a bit of a look at what's going on with you guys. So tell me about this person who is here for Leo. We're gonna start with some general energy, please. Okay, very interesting. So we got the Four of Cups, which is an energy of kind of pulling back and it's a card of missed opportunities. So what I see potentially happening here is that your person could be pulling back. Your person could be disconnecting because of something going on. So there could be a situation in their life where maybe they have to set some boundaries. Maybe this is with friends or with family, but they could be pulling back a little bit. But the other thing that sometimes happens with the Four of Cups is that it indicates somebody who could miss out on an opportunity. And it's funny because we did have the chariot in the overall energy and I was like, somebody's coming in and pursuing you. I wonder if this is somebody who's realizing that if they don't make a move, they might miss out on this opportunity. So let's see where it goes. Tell me more about this person who's here for Leo, please. <laughs> And then we've got the Queen of Wands. You could be hooking up with another fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. 
But this tells me that they're passionate about you, they're attracted to you, and they're confident in the connection between the two of you. So once they get over holding themselves back and they decide to make a move on you, the sparks are flying, okay? Tell me more about this person's energy this week, please. <laughs> okay. Leo, look at this situation here. Look at this, okay? What do we got here, Leo? We got a perfect match. I'm so giddy today. Honestly, I told you, I love fall, you guys. I was already happy when I started this reading, and now I'm even happier. Because look at this, okay? It's a perfect pair. If you've watched my channel before, you know that I always get really excited when I get the king and the queen of one suit showing up together in a rating because they're meant to be together. That's why I get excited. So to me, this is saying, look, Leo, whoever you're dealing with this week, you are meant to be together. This is your perfect person, your perfect for you match. Obviously, there's a very strong chemistry and attraction pulling the two of you together. It's undeniable. You cannot ignore this kind of a feeling and it's just amazing. It feels so good and I love that for you. Okay, so that's looking spectacular. Let's see what your person is feeling this week, please. Okay, eight of swords. Your person's a little anxious. They have a little bit of self-doubt. They've got some insecurities. Who doesn't, okay? So they could be getting a little up in their head. They might be... I don't know, doubting themselves a little bit, especially if this is someone who's gonna make a move on you. So I think they're gonna have to maybe deal with some of their insecurities this week and just like get over it so that they can move forward. There could also be something in their life where they could be feeling kind of trapped. I'm looking at that page of pentacles and I wouldn't be surprised for some of you if you're dealing with someone where maybe things are not going as well with their job as they had hoped. Maybe they're talking to you about it. Maybe they're looking at applying for a different job. So there could be something there, but I do see a little bit of anxiety and doubt showing up in their feelings. Tell me more about what they're feeling, Queen of Swords, but that's good. They're gonna get clarity about what's holding them back. Okay, something is coming to mind. It's not gonna be for everybody, but when I think about your person, what I'm picking up on Leo is a person who used to be very insecure, not just about love, but insecure in all areas of their life. I'm intuitively feeling somebody here who feels like they've missed out on opportunities before because they haven't had the confidence to pursue them. And I think that this is something that they're really working on. And this is important when it comes to you, because like I said, if this is new love, they're finally like working up the courage to ask you out. But I feel like if you're with this person, you've probably seen them really grow and really develop their confidence over time, which is so important. So I think there's something beautiful here where I do think your person has struggled to be confident, but I do think that they're really working on building up that confidence, which is going to have positive impacts on your relationship, but it's also just going to have positive impacts on all other areas of their life. So that's really nice. Tell me more about what they're feeling. Yeah. Eight of Cups leaving behind what doesn't serve them, leaving behind those anxieties, those doubts, that low self-esteem, all that kind of stuff. I also feel whenever I get the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Cups to me represents the energy of like living our life, but not going after what we really want. And so this often shows up when, you know, maybe our friends or family are like, do this or do that but it's not actually what makes us happy. It's a card about finding in our heart and in our soul, what brings me joy? What do I value? What's important to me? And I think your person here is really starting to get clear with that Queen of Swords and Eight of Cups about what they really want. Because I talked about how they were possibly much more insecure in the past, and maybe when they were insecure, they let other people make decisions for them. Now they're trying to break free from that insecurity so that they can confidently live the life that they desire. And I'm just sharing this in case this, you know, background information might be helpful, but I think it can be good to have that context because it's probably going to shape some of their behaviors and some of the conversations that the two of you have as they share about they, their past and they share about how they've been growing. Uh, tell me what actions this person is taking this week. Five of swords. Yeah. Okay. There's definitely something toxic in their life that they're disengaging from. Five of Swords to me is like drama, drama, drama. And I feel like it often indicates the external environment. It can be like a gossipy friend, bullying in the workplace, just people being negative and trying to disrupt our happiness. <laughs> okay. And so I see here that your person 
it's a bit of a theme, is taking a good hard look at their life this week and really detaching from people, situations, and circumstances that don't bring them joy. And if you are already with this person, maybe some of this stuff has had an impact on your relationship. Like if your person has been involved in drama because their friend is like stirring up drama or there's like shit happening at work, that's probably weighed on your relationship. So I feel like part of what's happening here is that your person is trying to clear out all the stuff that doesn't matter and all the stuff that's unhealthy because they don't want it to be impacting the connection between the two of you. So it's a good thing. It's like they're actively choosing to set boundaries. It, there's a lot of growth happening. Tell me what other actions they're taking. Good. Yeah. Six of Swords. Six of Swords and Eight of Cups. So we got two cards here in their energy to really show them detaching from something toxic. Now, like I said, it could be toxic things in their environment, toxic friendships, toxic job, whatever it is. But I also feel it's them detaching from toxic thinking, toxic ways of looking at themselves, toxic ways of talking to themselves. You know how sometimes we can be like our own worst critic, we can be very critical, very nasty. And I just feel like your person is starting to identify all the ways that they are insecure and really working to build up that confident self. And I think there's going to be a lot of shifts that happen within their social network. I kind of feel like, I don't know if this is a weird thing to say. You guys can let me know if this connects. It's almost like they're going to be getting a whole new group of friends. There's something very transformative in their energy where they've been growing. And sometimes what happens is when we grow, we outgrow situations, circumstances, and people that no longer serve us. And that, I know this is not really about you, Leo, but again, it's just kind of giving you some context to what could be happening for your person. But the reason I think it's actually particularly important when it comes to your relationship is that it's showing your person getting into a healthier place in their life, which is obviously going to have a good impact on the connection between the two of you. Let's get one more card about what actions they're taking this week. Beautiful. Eight of Pentacles, investing in you, proving their love for you. This person obviously loves you tremendously. Remember the overall energy. It's a beautiful connection. There's something really lovely going on here between the two of you. It's, it, it's a soulmate connection. It's not just like a casual one night stand. And so with this Eight of Pentacles, even though, like I said, your person has got some stuff they're dealing with this week, throughout all of that, they're continuing to make you a priority. They're continuing to show up for you. I think they're continuing to demonstrate to you how committed to you that they are. And honestly, Leo, the fact that they're working on themselves, dealing with tough situations, setting boundaries, that's also a really positive indicator that they're in a healthy place. And that's a good thing to have in a partner. So I see your person making some good decisions about what they value and what's important to them and really just kind of cutting out anything that doesn't align with that this week. Very powerful energy. Oh, so let's look at you. Okay, hold on. We had a card flying. Uh, where is it? Okay, uh, so the card that came flying out here is the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this is basically saying like, yeah, we've got um, a really strong connection here. Four of Pentacles is you holding on to the connection and not wanting to let go. So yeah, you're obviously attached to this person. It's kind of funny though, because sometimes the Four of Pentacles can be a little bit insecure as well. So it's like we're holding on to someone because like we're scared of losing it, which is kind of interesting because we did see a little bit of insecurity with your person and, and maybe you've got some of that as well. And maybe this is a good week for the two of you to each work on that, possibly. Tell me more, please. The sun, <laughs> I love that. Your energy. So you're feeling happy, you're feeling good. Honestly, what I think is going on is you're just feeling very blessed with this connection. I think this is a really special connection between the two of you, and I love that. I think they make you smile a lot. Tell me more. And then <laughs> Nine of Cups. The Sun and the Nine of Cups, Leo. I mean, this is a pair if I've ever seen one. This is blessings and dreams coming true. Happiness and happiness and happiness. So when it comes to you and this person, obviously the two of you bring a tremendous amount of joy into each other's lives and there's a lot of things to be grateful for. I think there's a lot this week where you're just gonna have moments where you reflect and you reflect on how lucky you feel to have this person in your life. Let's see what you're feeling this week. Tell me about Leo's feelings. <laughs> the four of wands, the 11-11 card. You can put 11-11 in the comments if you claim the energy for this week, Leo. 
how are you feeling? You're feeling basically like this is the person you're gonna marry. And we've been talking about this the whole reading. It's a perfect match, it's a soulmate connection. Yeah, your person's got some stuff they're dealing with, but at the end of the day, you know that this is who you wanna be with. You're getting ready to take that next step. Like I think you're feeling very ready for that. And obviously that's gonna be different for each of you depending on where you're currently at. Like if this is new love, the next step is you know going on some dates and then maybe defining the relationship. If you've been with this person for a while, it could be moving in together. So regardless of where you're at, it definitely looks to me like you're feeling ready to take that next step with your person. Uh, what else are you feeling this week? Knight of Pentacles, beautiful, yeah. Uh, you're, I, I, I'm, I'm smiling, I'm a little speechless, you guys, because I'm just feeling a lot of love coming through. Um, I think the two of you are very solid. The Knight of Pentacles is about building that solid foundation to your relationship and really just taking that time to continue to build your connection, build your love for each other, and just I think you're feeling very secure, honestly. I think you feel very secure with this person and secure in the love that they have for you. Tell me more about what you're feeling. <laughs> the Emperor, gorgeous. Yeah. Your energy is coming out very strong and powerful. The Emperor, Aries energy, super confident. Okay. So how are you feeling? Confident in the connection. Confident in everything that you and this person are building together. So as far as I can see, you're very happy with how things are progressing here and you're very in love with this person. All right, let's see what actions you're taking this week. I love it. I feel like I'm like a giddy little schoolgirl over here. Look at this, Knight of Cups, super dreamy, super romantic energy. So what actions are you taking? You're doing something romantic for your person this week something that shows you how much you love them. And I think part of the reason that you might be doing this, Leo, is because you might see that your person is struggling, they're going through some stuff, and you're just like wanting to reaffirm, I love you, I'm attracted to you, I'm here for you. And I think you're just showing up in this really beautifully supportive way and definitely doing something romantic with that Knight of Cups. It's also about the feelings that you have, like maybe telling them how you feel, reassuring them, all that good stuff. All right, tell me what actions Leo is taking this week. Three of Wands, beautiful. Getting excited about the future, thinking about where the two of you are headed. Tell me more about what actions Leo is taking this week. And then the moon, interesting. The moon is always an interesting one. It does indicate things that can be hidden and it can indicate our fears and anxieties. So like I said, there was, there was a little bit of that with the Four of Pentacles, which was the first card for you. Because like I said, the Four of Pentacles is about holding on to the connection, but sometimes we're holding out or holding on out of fear and like insecurity. Like, I don't wanna lose this person, so you're grasping onto them. And so I do think there is a little bit of insecurity for you. I don't think it's anything major, but I do think that the moon says, it's important to be open about what you're feeling this week. If there's a conversation you need to have, if there's something you need to say to your person, it's good to just be open, don't hold back, don't hide those feelings. The two of you, remember the very first card, the two of you have this amazing soulmate connection. So even if you are feeling a little insecure this week, if you talk to your person, I feel like they're gonna say the exact same thing and they're gonna be like, me too, like I get anxious and then I worry, you know, about like, do you love me as much as I love you? Basically what I think could happen is if you talk about your feelings and you're vulnerable, I think your person is also gonna talk about their feelings and be vulnerable. And that creates a deeper level of emotional intimacy, which just continues to take the relationship deeper. So I love that. Okay, so let's see what the potential outcome is here within this situation. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Okay, I love it. Six of Wands, this is the card of victory and success. So the outcome here is, yes, Leo, you will be successful with this relationship. Things will be very good between the two of you. Are we surprised? No, because you have to go back to the original energy, right? Because the original energy kind of frames the reading. And then when we get into it, we get more into the nitty gritty specific details of what's happening this week. But the overall energy basically says the two of you are solid. So it's pretty spectacular that we started with this beautiful energy and then the outcome is like, yeah, you guys are good. You guys are amazing. And I think both of you are very proud of each other. I think this is a relationship where both of you look at each other, 
with awe, with pride. You're like each other's biggest cheerleaders. That's the kind of vibe that I get here. And I just feel a lot of love. Yeah, you know, is your person a little insecure sometimes? They, they have been that way, but they're working on it. I think you've also got some of your fears and insecurities, but in a way, I think that has the potential to bring you guys even closer because you understand it, right? Your person definitely understands what it's like to be insecure. I saw a little bit of that for you too. And because both of you have had that experience, you can have empathy for each other and it can bring the two of you closer together. So honestly, I think things are just gonna keep moving forward with you guys this week. It looks really good. If you are single, definitely keep your eyes open. Somebody could be coming in, maybe a little bit shy at first, but they're gonna work up the courage to ask you out. And I think that this is just something beautiful that's building between the two of you. So I'm going to leave it there for you, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. If you'd like to get a personal reading, you can do so through my Etsy shop. It's just in the link below the video here. Uh, check it out if you'd like to. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.